I became sober curious two years into my drinking when I was 24. I had noticed that my tolerance doubled within a short period of time, and I was getting drunk and blacking out multiple times a week, even on work nights. I blamed my stressful teaching job on why I had to drink so much, but deep down, I was already starting to worry if I was an alcoholic. This is when I started trying to moderate my drinking, so if you're on that path or you want to laugh, then... Go listen to episode 150 after this for 15 strategies that I tried to moderate my drinking. And recommended episodes are always in the show notes if you forget. So over time, I tried mocktails, making rules, alternating with water, but I could not get my drinking under control. Three years into being sober curious, I took a one-week break to prove that I wasn't an alcoholic because obviously since it wasn't that hard to take a break, it meant that I was fine. And then I would eventually take a 90-day break to attempt to cure myself. The problem is, all the time when I was sober curious and not getting any support, my drinking was progressing. I was doing it alone, and I was trying the same moderation rules over and over again. I thought that no one was like me, and other people wouldn't be able to understand me. After my 90-day break, I was able to moderate for two months, and this isn't uncommon. Sometimes after an extended break, you can control it or only drink a little for a bit, but as soon as I had an opportunity to make an excuse, I was right back to normal drinking. For me, we went on vacation, and that was my opportunity, and I thought, I'll just drink the way I want to and then I'll go back to moderation when I get home. So I drink every day, and I was immediately back to where I started. I lost all control over my drinking again, and I couldn't skip a day after that. And I see this a lot in my community too, a very fast progression back to problematic drinking. And some people will even make this transition in one day. I quit drinking on November 9th, 2019. And a couple weeks before, on Halloween, I noticed that I had chugged a bottle of wine in under two hours. It was completely mindless, and I remember being shocked when I noticed it. That wine was supposed to last me the whole night, but it didn't even make it to dinner time. I got super drunk that night, and I cried at the dining room table alone all night. I wasn't a chugger in the beginning. But our drinking progresses over time and it gets worse. I convinced myself that it was my stressful job or my husband's fault, but it was just the way that I drank. And because I didn't get any support and I kept myself in denial, it kept getting worse and worse until I had to do something about it. If you like my approach, then I would love to support you in my community. We have lots of small meetings and I'm also beginning to run even smaller group coaching programs. So info for everything is on my website. Just keep trying and add more forms of support. Your resistance to getting support is allowing your drinking to progress. What I want you to understand from this episode and from my story is that changing your life circumstances may help your drinking a little bit, but it won't fix it. We drink the way that we drink, and that's not going to change. Addiction is progressive, and the longer that you go without getting support, the more you're going to progress through the stages. 